Hey guys, it's Aiden, and it is Wednesday, March 8th, 2017, and this is going to be my update for one year and s four months on testosterone. Also, it's going to be like a three-month post-op update, I guess, because I had surgery on December 12th of 2017, and so I know I made an update then, but um, this kind of going to be... Uh, a little bit of a better update because I was tired and I had a lot more to say so we'll just dive right into it so first I'll go through like what it's been like to be on testosterone for so long a uh, year and four months so long I say that but like I'm like in baby stages so it's been honestly really awesome I'm really happy and I'm finally really starting to see the person that like I feel like I was meant to see when I look in the mirror and I'm really becoming the person that I kn I've always known that I was meant to be. I just recently got a new job and I'm really enjoying that. I feel happy every single day. I mean everyone has their tough days and their issues but at the end of every day when I lay down and I get in bed, or when I get in bed and I lay down, whichever way you want to put that, um, I'm happy and I feel fulfilled and everything is going really well. I am stealth at work just for my own personal reasons. I mean, there are certain people there that do know that I am trans. My has been super, super great about, you know, not telling other people my, my business they keep it to themselves and literally the only people that know that I'm trans are the people that I have told and it's it's nice it's you know it's nice to to be treated as an individual and not treated as lesser or you know you know where I'm going with this like because people know that I'm trans it's um my last job like I have two right now but I'm talking about like my previous like last job that I had gotten. Um, one person found out and then a whole bunch of other people found out and I could feel them like looking at me different and treating me differently and it was just really shitty for lack of a better term. It's just, it was shitty. Um, but I got over it. You know, if someone doesn't want to get to know me be because of these like preconceived ideas that they have about who I am, then that's on them, and that has absolutely nothing to do with me or who I am as a person. And it's really their loss, because, I mean, I'm pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. So, so yeah, so that's that. Um, I'm really happy with that. I am really happy with all the changes that are occurring. I know that you can probably see it here. Uh, I've been growing facial hair for a little while. Um, I've just been choosing to shave it for personal reasons. And recently I've decided that I am not going to shave it and I'm going to kind of let it grow in. I mean, I kind of shave my sideburns, but I'm letting like my facial hair here and above my lip grow in. I am really happy with it. Um, and I've been receiving a ton of compliments on it. So it's just, it's nice. It's, it's validating, I guess. People at my, my second job, like the job that I don't really go to super often, but it's still a job. They knew me before I started to transition and like just the words of encouragement from everyone is just really nice and I couldn't be more thankful for those people because while I was starting to transition like they were the people that I leaned on and they were the people that were there for me and they made me feel like it was okay and that they were just really happy for me I mean I had a few people here and there at that job who tried to mess with me and like make me feel bad but you know you're gonna cr come across those people everywhere you go and I'm not, I'm not letting it happen anymore. It's just, like, that's on them. It's not, it's not on me. I've really come to terms with that. Because for a while I was like, you know, what is it? What could I be doing better? Or, like, 
you know, whatever. It's not me. It's it's them, and it's what they have have built up in their minds. I don't know what it is that makes them feel like they need to attack me because they're uncomfortable with themselves. So that's that. Um, so facial hair, my voice obviously is way different than it was in the beginning. If you <laughs> go back and like click on my first video, it's the differences are crazy. Um, I actually posted a comparison picture on my Instagram and it linked it to my Facebook. Weirdly enough, um, I don't remember clicking that little button, but hey, it posted to my Facebook and that's fine. Um, I'm very open about my transition and I actually received a message from someone who was like, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of you and you know, that you're so open with this and let me just put this out there really quickly. Um, the reason that I am so open and transparent about my transition is because I found a lot of help and a lot of safety and answers in watching other people videotape their transitions and if this video reaches even one person and makes them feel like I felt when I watched my first video then it's absolutely worth it to be transparent about what I'm going through um, because it can feel really lonely and it can feel really difficult and I remember I would sit I would lay in bed at night and I would literally watch hours and hours of YouTube I'd watch other trans men talk about how they figured out that they felt this way and all of these things and like it just helped me so much and so it's not it's not brave of me to share my transition it's not I'm not I'm not brave I'm just I'm doing for other people or hope I hope that I'm doing for other people what other people have done for me um, because I know that it helped me a lot so it does get better and it is okay for anyone that's watching this it's it may seem like a lot of waiting but that waiting is so worth it I promise you I can tell you that when I posted that picture, I kind of like wrote this novel underneath it. But it, everything that I said in it was true. Um, that I remember when I was four months on T, and I, you know, I felt like, holy shit, a whole year from now, I wonder what I'll look like, and you know, will I feel complete? Will I feel better about it? And I can tell you now that I do. I feel way better about it. I'm so happy with what I'm seeing. I'm really taking the time to focus on my body and my health and I'm watching my body transform into what I've always wanted it to be and it is just so amazing and just I can't even tell you it's just it's amazing and I know that even a year from now I'll look even more different and I will have learned more about myself and that's exciting too. I feel like I was shutting myself out for so long because you know I wasn't happy with who I was and so doing this has really shown me a lot about myself. I've learned so much about myself in the last year. Um, not only about myself but of, about other people. Other people that I thought were super important in my life and turned out to not be as, as accepting as you know I had anticipated them being. And that's okay. That's on them. And, you know, I can't change that. And I don't want to change that. I just have learned a lot about other people. Um, so it's, it's been an interesting ride. So, you, you know, some other things that I've I found um, while going on this, this crazy journey, crazy but incredible, um, is how the outside world looks at me, how they perceive me, and how I'm treated now. Um, I've mentioned this in previous videos, but white male privilege, totally a thing, totally, totally, totally a thing, and it's kind of frustrating. Um, I mean, I am on the receiving end of this now. I'm benefiting from this now. Uh, 
But as someone who once was not treated this way, now that I'm being treated this way, it's like really apparent to me that this is a thing. Um, and so it, it kind of bothers me. Uh, but it's something that I'm learning to kind of navigate. And like I said, within the next year, I'm going to learn so much more about myself. And I'm so excited about it. Like, you learn how to deal with things. You learn, you know, who you can trust, who you can't trust. You learn a lot. So that's basically all I have to say about, like, transition-wise um, in that aspect. And then, so, because I constantly make, like, 16-minute videos. I'm sorry I'm killing you guys with these. But I promise that they will get shorter. I promise. It's just I wait so long. And then I ramble like this. So here we go. So top surgery. I am so, so, excuse my language, fucking excited that I have had top surgery. It's everything that I hoped it would be. Um, like I slipped this t-shirt on and it's incredible to feel your shirt up against your skin. I mean, things that people take for granted every day, um, I'm starting to realize that like these really are things that you take for granted every day. I never felt what it was like to wear a dress shirt with nothing underneath it and just be up against my skin. And for the first time the other night, I went out and I wore a dress shirt and it was incredible feeling my, my shirt up against my skin. Not only that, but it was a shirt that I could not even button before. Like, I was supposed to wear it to my best friend's rehearsal dinner for her wedding and I couldn't fit into it because I was bigger. and. Like being on tea and watching my weight and going to the gym and being proactive about actually like shaping my body uh, has really worked. And so for the first time the other night, I put this shirt on and I felt it up against my skin and it fit me perfectly with room to spare, which was great. Uh, and it was just nice like to wear, you know, it was it was really nice. And I worked my chest out a lot before I had top surgery. And I didn't even think at the time that I worked it out enough because I didn't really see any muscle. Um, but now I, it's kind of funny, like I joke around because I'm like still kind of chubby in my in my belly area, but um, in my top area, like I'm muscular. And so it's crazy. But, uh, but yeah, so I had top surgery with Dr. Paul Weiss. Uh, I am super pumped with the results. It's everything that I hoped it would be. I'm gonna just quickly like flash you guys and let you see where I'm at right now because I think that I didn't really give you much of a of a, a look at it in the last video and it was kind of dark. So um, so this is what it looks like now. And so like you can kind of I'm really happy with it. Uh, just again. I was itching in the middle of my chest before, so I'm sorry about the spot. But um, but that's my chest, and this is my my story. And I really am so happy that you guys have come along with me on this journey and are so interested to watch me continue to change and have sent me so many messages of encouragement and just love, really. And I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate all of you and I love everyone that's reached out to me. Um, and all of my family that's backed me, I can't tell you enough how much it means to me. Um, so, thank you very much. I will probably see you on my year and a half. Um, if not, I'll try to make one. It's just, times are crazy. I have a new job, you know, it's just, it's been, it's been nuts. So, I will see you the next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, and if you want, you can check out my Instagram, which is AJC26X. And yeah, you can see all of my transformation pictures and all that stuff. I've had quite a few uh, guys message me and ask about that. So that is my Instagram name. So um, if you have any questions, you can also shoot me a message on here and I'll try to respond. But if I don't respond on here, I'm really sorry. Um, shoot me an email. It's in my, it's in my description. All right. I will talk to you guys soon and thank you again for watching.